So the next one is coil. <clears throat> and what we're going to do here, we're just going to look at it. Um, so coil just sets a path, or it's kind of like sweep. So if I go to coil, it wants a profile and an axis. So in this case, I have a profile here. I have a little thread. And then I want an axis, so I'll go ahead and go back up and pick my Y axis. So I've got that in. So now if I go to coil size, it's, I have three ways of doing it, or four. I have pitch revolution, so I have the pitch, which is what? Yeah, the distance in one revolution. So the pitch is this. So I have the pitch and the number of times it goes around. I have the number of times it goes around and the total height. Or I have the pitch and the height. And so those are for, for coils or helixes. Spiral is a 2D shape. So if I did a spiral, you can see it's just a 2D. So why might you use spiral? Think of anything? If you're doing a spiral spring or like a bimetal strip for like an AC or something like that, you might do it. But we're gonna do we're gonna do pitch and height. Because this is a one inch diameter. If I look at that thread size, it's an eighth of an inch. And actually, it's a little under an eighth of an inch, right? So one dash eight, so one one inch diameter, eight threads per inch. So flip that one eighth. But this is a little bit less than one eighth. Why do you think that is? Yeah, because it needs when you do a coil or a sweep or something like that, you can't overlap. And being right on is considered overlapping. So it wouldn't do it. And anyways, threads need to have a little flat spot on them. So we're just going to do a little bit smaller, just so there's a little flat and, and Vinera will make them all. But that's just a 60 degree V with, with that measurement in there. So I'm going to go back to the coil, take my axis again. Tell which, which way to revolve. Coil size, so I want my pitch to be 1 over 8. Then my height, whatever I want my height to be. So, I'll cut 1.5. And I will tell it to cut it out. Say OK. So there's my Right. Is that looking good? Mm -hmm. I need a chamfer there, right? So I'm just going to go above that part. Do do a chamfer. Pull that back down, right? Or reorder your parts if you need to. Now I've got this to take care of. Is that how threads stop? No. Do they just stop in the middle of the part? No. But what happens? Tapers back to zero. You taper it back out, right? So I'm going to go into that, pick on that face, sketch, it projects the edges, finish. Easiest sketch you'll ever do. So now I'm just going to go back into coil. Take my axis again. Go to here. Now I'm going to add a taper to it. Cut the cut. And depending on my taper, if I make it a bigger angle, it'll come out faster. Then 
go in and add a little fillet down in the groove, the root. Put that in. 